Assalamu alaikum guys this is Mas Qureshi with another topic if you haven't watched my first part of the seizures do check it out in which we discuss the partial and generalized and classification or age wise jo humne classification ki we did that too so now coming to the tuberous sclerosis which is very high for US family of CPS so coming to the topic without any further ado okay so basically uh, the thing is ke it's because of two uh, f- uh, mutations uh, in the chromosome 9 and 16 which i'll be talking about ts tsc1 which is on the chromosome 9 and tsc2 which is on chromosome 12 and on 9 basically uh, is because of the protein hemartine theek hai and aapka jo dusra protein hai this is uh, tuberin okay tuberin protein so there is a defect in on chromosome 12 or if the they ask you about tsc which is stands for tuberous sclerosis 2 uh, mutation on chromosome 12 and ts1 on 9 okay so coming to the topic i have a mnemonic for you guys it's very high very easy to remember tuberous sclerosis so The mnemonic is hem. Sorry, a hem r. Thomas. Okay, and I have a try it for you, which you can never miss. So watch it till the end. Okay, so hematoma is H for hematomas or in the CNS. in cns a is basically angiofibroma sorry for the spelling mistakes do ignore that and m for mitral regurgitation not stenosis regurgitation i know mitral stenosis in everything is very very common but mitral regurgitation is really here in tuberous sclerosis so uh remember that okay so ash leaf uh, spots these are basically hypermelanotic macules so they would be a leaf like it's not just like leaf but there is a white patch on your abdomen or something like that on on skin and r for rhabdo myoma you can also make notes with me you know nt for tuberous sclerosis of course so i'm just going to write s tuberous sclerosis and o for dominant because it is autosomal dominant so we so we would be having those uh, uh structural changes as it happens in on and m for mental retardation of course there is disability in intellectual uh performance so mental disturb uh, sorry not retardation yes and uh then Retardation. Okay, so I don't know why I did that, but I know that. Okay, renal angio my myolipoma. So renal angio myolipoma. And yes, chagrin platelets. Of course, yeah, chagrin platelets are seizures. So I have an uh, I have a uh, try it for you which you should never miss as I promised and I never broke my promise. So those of guys who have been watching till the end I have a surprise for you and you can never miss tuberous sclerosis after watching this. So you have seizures of course because we are talking about seizures. Second is angiofibroma which we just talked about in mnemonic and third is mental retardation. so these this this is basically the triad so yeah and you have the uh, sub ependymal giant cell here so this is there your ependymal cell and this is your sub ependymal cell so you have sub ependymal giant cell below the that the sub ependymal layer okay and uh, of course you have uh, glioneuronal hematomas and renal hematoma or cortical or tuberous but we will not go into the detail if you remember this you won't miss a chance you won't even uh 
mistreat the patient which is our goal here so thank you for watching if you uh, like that video do share with your friends your fellow doctors colleagues and uh, give that um, video a thumbs up as well and subscribe if you haven't already and uh, if you have subscribed do check that notification bell and uh, so that you don't miss my videos thank you for watching get it got it good